Hi, a very good morning. Today, our topic is Apache JMIT tool How to give phasing and design realistic performance load testing. Okay, this is our topic today. Okay, mainly in Apache JMIT tool, how we need to design the realistic performance load testing and how we need to give the phasing. Okay, this is the main topic. Okay, and I have taken for example application JMIT store application. I have taken okay now i need to proceed okay first one i am using the in designing or uh, in realistic performance testing in phasing i will give and right the thread group name is stepping thread group stepping thread group user 2 i will design the i will give the phasing everything okay now i will show you that one Okay, first I will open the generator. Just a minute, it will open the generator. Okay, now I need to open the JMeter tool. Okay, in test plan, you need to give the right click, add thread, and you can take the JP of the red JC stepping thread group. Okay, in stepping thread group, right, I will add the sampler. I have taken HTTP request and uh, listeners view results tree. Another one is view results table. Okay, you can go to HD request my sample application. First one is the protocol, is a HTTPS. Okay, second one is the IP address. IP address means application name. Last one is the path. Okay, this is the Now you design right. Maybe in your J meter you are not able to find out the. Uh, you can go to the test plan right. Add thread and thread group. You did not find out the JP of the red JC stepping thread group right. That time what you need to do right. You need to add the plugin manager. Okay, I will show you that one also. Just a minute. You can open the Google. You can type the download the JMeter plugin manager. Okay, it's a very simple steps only. You can go to the first step, first link only. Okay, you can click on the plugin manager. Okay, this is the jar file, guys. Just you can click on this jar file link, right? You can download the file and you need to extract it. Okay, that's all. First one. Once you download and you can extract, right? This jar file, the file you need to copy. Once copy that file, you can go to the JMeter. You can go to the JMeter not for a bin folder it's a go to lib folder go to lib folder go to ext just you can paste the how i will given right jmeter plugin manager jmeter plugin manager 1.8 okay otherwise now it's a latest version right based on that version you can paste it once you can paste you can come to the jmeter go to file you have a restart button in olden days right in the restart button it's not available this place of uh, 5.4 4.0 before versions 4.0 before versions 
this right side there is a bottom right in plugin manager icon you can go to this one right you can see there is a plugin manager just you can click on this one you can drag down and you can see apply changes and restart jmeter this is only one option only available for restarting for now latest versions it's provided directly go to file and just you can restart that's all once restart will be done right you will close and you can open the application you can go to the test plan and add and thread and thread group you can go to the stepping thread group okay now it's available right it's done this step okay now how we need to design right that one first of all what is the thing phasing okay what is the phasing right what is phasing phasing means wait time between two iterations okay very simple terminology is what is the phasing means the phasing means wait time between two iterations two iterations means the first iteration to second iteration you need to wait some time that is also why you need to wait right in real world scenarios otherwise real users whenever you need to complete the one user will be login and you will do some activities okay and you will log out right after next user will be started the next user next user starting time before first user completed right you need to wait some time okay that is based on um, your realistic scenarios how much you need to give the phasing that related details based only you can design but the wait time iteration to iteration the middle of the time the wait time only it's called phasing okay the phasing simple word definition phasing means wait time between two iterations wait time between two iterations it's called phasing okay how you need to design to the in phasing in load runner right in load runner mission you can go to the runtime settings it's directly available phasing okay based on uh, how much phasing you require and think time and phasing you can calculate and even give it how many iterations required based on the do, uh, duration and user load based but jmeter you do not have any that type of option now how you need to give it to the phasing okay this is the question okay now you need to go to the jmeter and you need to design okay this is the stepping thread group right how you need to design right this is the in general options first of all you can understand the not for the graph the, um, what are the configuration settings okay thread scheduling parameters first one this group will start start means how many users you given that count that based on threads only users okay now i will given 100 threads 100 means 100 users first wait any user not only directly not login right you need to wait i will give them first in 10 seconds 10 seconds you need to wait after then start how many users you need to start 10 users you need to start next 10 users you need to add every 10 seconds okay every 10 seconds you need to add okay okay now i will give in zero right okay now i will give in zero only be given i did not give in any ramp up okay total duration just 60 seconds only not more than and finally stop also 10 threads every 10 seconds okay this is the our uh, our load test scenario but our question how we need to give the phasing the phasing means first 10 users will be uh, once the test will be started right first you need to wait 10 seconds first 10 seconds you need to wait after first start 10 users you can see suddenly 10 users will be started after you need to wait 10 seconds and 10 users will be started okay 10 seconds wait this is everything 
10 seconds you need to wait and user will be 10 users will be started this is the process only called the wait time right every 10 each time the every 10 seconds 10 users will be 10 users will be login login means it's a moving to coming to the running the load the wait 10 seconds time whenever you will wait the 10 seconds the 10 seconds only it's called phasing okay in load owner each and every user you able to provide it to the phasing means wait time you able to provide but jmeter that way it's not possible okay it's available some uh, based on what type of timers you use to and the thread groups used right based on that one only you able to design that one in coming to only for stepping thread group right these are the options only available every uh, 10 seconds you need to wait and moving to users right? 10 10 users you need to moving every 10 seconds the wait time only it's called you can consider this is a phasing this way you need to design the <laughs> scenario <laughs> okay this way you need to design the scenario and total 60 seconds you need to wait the load and same way you need to ramp down also you need to same way only you need to design okay this is the way you need to design the in load testing and this is also you need to call it's a phasing the ramp up time also you need to call phasing only and another way in in realistic scenario right every time Suddenly, you did not give 10 users, right? Once you need to wait the 10 seconds also. And next time, the 10 seconds after suddenly 10 users, you are not able to get. Okay, that reason what you need to do, right? You can give the ramp up. 10. Okay, now what will be happen, right? You can see, first 10 seconds you need to wait. After every 1 second, one user will be coming to the load one by one one by one you need to coming to the load total 10 seconds 10 users coming to the load and next 10 seconds you need to wait after every one second one user will be logged in total 10 seconds 10 users you need to coming to the load remaining 10 seconds you need to wait and each and every time you can see 10 seconds you need to wait first every time 10 seconds you need to wait 10 users you need to come to the load the 10 seconds you need to wait right this is called phasing every 10 users but realistic scenario in our application keep on the load it's available right that reason every one second one user you need to come to the load that way you need to design but every 10 seconds you need to wait time the wait time it's called only you need to consider phasing that way only you need to design the uh, in realistic performance testing load testing you need to design and you can give the phasing this way only you need to give it and you need to calculate how much time will be taken that is uh, based on your scenario you can design it and th this is the total duration and uh, how much time you need to give the ram down right ram down also there is no any specific ram down also it's not provided any I mean uh, using ram ram down that type of option it's not available but whenever you complete the load right normally based on the how much 10 users 10 users every 10 seconds the users will be rammed down that is also is the common scenario only okay this this is the way you need to design the the realistic uh, performance load testing but you can give the the phasing details right this is the way only you need to design for phasing for especially for stepping thread group user you need to achieve the in realistic performance testing and you can give the phasing related details right this is the way only you need to give and you need to design okay uh, now you need to see one time how we need to work this one okay first of all the scenario first 10 users you need 10 seconds you need to wait after only test will be started every one one user will be 10 seconds you need to add after 10 seconds you need to wait after one one user 10 seconds you need to add after 10 seconds wait that way only load will be going okay now you need to see how the design uh, test will be moving
the script name called phasing.jmx okay now you need to see how we need to work you can see the now it's running right until 10 seconds it did not start anything once 10 seconds will completed only the test is started 10 done okay now you can see two three every one second one user you need to come to the load okay okay now 20 died you can see he did not run until 30 okay 10 seconds you need to wait every 10 seconds 10 seconds wait and the next one one user you need to add 10 seconds and you need to run after next you need to wait the 10 seconds that way only the process will be going you can see now 40 right it will stop it did not coming any load you need to wait until 50 that load will be started one one user yeah 50 right you can see one user one user it will be increased Yeah, now we need to, you can see, it stopped, right? Now it did not come anything. Okay, every 10 seconds, you need to wait after 10 seconds complete after one user, one user, you need to 10 seconds, 10 user, you need to ramp up and come to the load, right? After you need to wait 10 seconds. This is the process only, the users will be increased. The wait time it's called, now it's waiting, right? 10 seconds the wait time it's called iteration to iteration that is called the wait time between it's a phasing means the wait time between two iterations it's called phasing okay this is the way only you need to design the the realistic performance load testing scenarios you need to design and you need to execute for especially for stepping thread group okay now i will stop everything okay this is the way you need to design and you need to calculate how much time will be waited okay how much time will be waited for the each iteration okay that based only you need to design the scenario and you need to execute this is only called stepping thread group used to how you need to design the uh, the realistic performance load testing and how you need to give the phasing related details only it's called only stepping thread group only okay my remaining videos i will provide it. remaining uh, how you need to use to timers use it to what are the timers you need to use it to you can design you can use the phasing that related details also one by one video i will explain and i will provide the videos but now maybe the peoples will understand how you need to use it to stepping thread group use it to how you need to design okay how to give the phasing okay the wait time how we need to give and how we need to design based on your requirement or your scenarios okay hopefully the peoples will be understand how we need to do this one okay just you can practice one or two times and you need to check uh, different different user loads how the the graph will be designed and how we need to came and you need to run to the test and you can see the users how we need to moving that time only you able to understand very clearly okay yeah that's all guys this video now our goal is achieved okay i will connect to the my next video and provide the uh, detailed information thanks for everyone bye